San Francisco. So our first stop is called Hidden Garden Steps. So if you're interested, keep watching and let's go explore the city for your next adventure in San Francisco. The Hidden Garden Steps is a community-based project consisting of 148 ceramic tile steps. It features designs including plants, flowers, snails, bees, and other items found in a garden. It's a great place to come, explore, and start off your day. Okay, so we came over to Golden Gate Park. It's a great place to come explore around or just have a picnic. So this is called Conservatory of Flowers. It has some really nice flowers inside. It's just a nice, peaceful location. You can explore here or go around the park. Golden Gate Park is a great place to come during your next San Francisco visit. It is considered the third most visited park in the United States after Central Park and the Lincoln Memorial. It has a lot of sights to be seen. For example, you can visit the Japanese Tea Garden, Stowe Lake, or the Conservatory of Flowers. The Conservatory of Flowers has been around since 1879. It houses many plants and flowers from around the world. It has a nice warm environment in it and makes you feel very peaceful. district so as you can see behind me there's a beautiful pride flag so we're gonna go explore around this area there's a lot of good eating places and as you walk through the streets you can feel the love and pride through every restaurant let's go explore Castro District is one of San Francisco's neighborhoods filled with lots of pride. Not only that, but there are a lot of good eating areas here. This is a good time to stop for brunch or lunch. One of my favorite places is called Kitchen Story. So it's a beautiful sunny day in San Francisco. These are rare, so let's keep exploring around. This is a beautiful sculpture called Palace of Fine Arts. It was built in 1915. Let's go explore. The Palace of Fine Arts is a monumental structure located in Marina District in San Francisco. It is designed with inspiration from Roman and ancient Greek architecture. Now it is a popular tourist spot and also used for events and weddings. without seeing the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. Chrissy Fields is a great place to take a light stroll and enjoy the beach. It has a great view of the Golden Gate Bridge. You can't miss out. Place to have some 
some delicious hot pot sundaes or just some ice cream in general. Let's go explore around and then we'll go over to Fisherman's Wharf. Ghirardelli Square is an iconic Bayside landmark since 1862. It features many shops and restaurants. It's definitely a must-see whether you come in the daytime or nighttime. After getting done at Garadali Square, we walked over to Fisherman's Wharf. It's a quick 10 minute walk. During the walk, you'll see some souvenir stands and shops. It's a good time to pick up some souvenirs for back home. You'll also see the iconic cable cars running. If time allows, don't miss out on taking a ride on the famous San Francisco cable cars. Fisherman Wharf is located in the northern waterfront area of San Francisco. It's a very lively place filled with food stalls and souvenir shops. This is a great place to have some fish and chips, crab cakes, or clam chowder. It's a definite must-see when you come to San Francisco. You can't leave San Francisco without getting a good view of the Golden Gate Bridge or the Bay Bridge. My favorite views of the bridges are at nighttime. Because of this, one of my favorite things to do is to take a sunset cruise. So you can either book a regular sunset cruise or a dinner cruise. Right here, I'm taking the Red and White Fleet Cruise, which is located walking distance from Fisherman's Wharf. One of the must-sees when you come to San Francisco is Twin Peaks. It has a great view of the city. It's perfect at sunrise, sunset, and even the night view. So let's go explore around. It has a very nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge, and also pretty much the whole city. Twin Peaks is a great place to come to end off your night. It has great 360 degree views of the Bay Area. It's a great place to just see the city in action. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.